Right, in this short instructional video, I'll show you how you can convert questions from Word into exam view with the ultimate goal of taking them over to Moodle. I've already created another video on my channel that takes a look at how to go from exam view to Moodle. So this one will concentrate on Word to exam view. So in order to do this, uh, there's a number of, uh, of steps. They're, they're kind of a pain to go through. But I know a lot of people have their tests in Word and they, they want to keep those questions. So uh, I'll take you through uh, the steps to do that. So uh, the first thing I do is um, you need to give your test a, a title right here. And so my test does have a title. It was my Chapter 7 test. Uh, this is an old test that I used uh, ages ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that title, Chapter 7 test. The next thing that you need to do is you need to label what type of questions you're planning on using. For, so for instance, I've uh, abbreviated this test. I've just made it with five multiple choice questions, kept it nice and simple. If you have essay questions, numeric response questions, that's all fine. You would just label them as such whenever you change to a new category. So this category that I'm using is multiple choice. So that's fine. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to get rid of any of these instructions. though. that's something that you can change when you get to exam view if you need to. Now the questions you'll notice, they go from one all the way to five like so. And so those are ready to go. The last kind of thing you need to do before you get started here is I'm going to tell the computer what my solutions are. So to do that, you go capital ANS, that represents answer. And then I have my answer key right here. I'll go answer is B for number one. Okay. And I'll mosey down to number two. The answer for this one was C. You know, so I like to copy it so it makes it a little bit easier when you're pasting it in. Uh, this is a common mistake that exam view will do right here is that when you copy and paste it in, it uh, sometimes uh, make, thinks that this is the next question, so make sure you correct it. Uh, number three was A. Number four right here is C. It doesn't really matter to like what the formatting looks like right here, as far as like the margins and everything. Exam view will take care of that once you import it in. And the next one here is C. So those are all ready to go. Um, you're going to have all these picture files. Like this is basically a picture file that's going to be imported in into exam view nicely for you. The last thing you need to do is make sure everything's in the same kind of font here. So I'm going to put everything into Times New Roman. That's the one that they suggest. And we're going to make sure the font size is at 12. That's another thing they suggest. And lastly, nothing underlined and nothing bolded. All right, so that's where we're sitting right there. Um, as long as you follow these little tips right here, um, you shouldn't get any errors when you go and use the import utility. So now what I'm going to do is you need to save this file. And so when you go to save, you're going to save it as, scroll down here, to the rich text format. That's the format that the exam view import utility is going to be able to read for you. So I'll save that as rich text uh, format. I'll just put RT, whoops. RT right here so we can tell it's a little bit different. Save it to my desktop so it's easy to call back up. Once you have created your file, uh, make sure that you don't just minimize it. Make sure that you actually go and uh, close the document. So I'm going to close this document. And now uh, the ex exam view import utility will be able to read it for you. You notice I'm a little bit of a Blue Jays fan there. Uh, all right, next. And we now need to call up the file. So the file I saved to my desktop, so I'm just going to go and look for anything that's in the desktop. It, these things always rise to the top. Chapter 7, retest in rich text format. I will select that one to use. I will then hit next. And then from here, it's going to ask you a series of questions. My suggestion is just to uh, ignore these. Um, if, you, if you want to look at them, uh, you might want to. But uh, I've always just pressed next all the way through here, and then it should work for us. All right, and you'll notice that. It read my questions. It says the import is complete. It brought in five questions. Uh, often what will happen here is if you ignored some of those steps that I gave you before, there'll be an error and it will not read those questions. To show you then how this works, if I go into now my exam view, uh, I'll just go and create uh, a test, for instance, or go into my generator. Uh, what you can see is that if you open an existing question bank, you'll see that I have some other stuff here, but my Chapter 7 test is sitting right there. If you hit open, you'll notice that these are my five questions like you have right there. So you can just um, uh, use those questions as you see fit now. Each one of them represents an individual question. You can even go into it and edit it if you see fit. And then, of course, now that it's in exam view, I've, I've showed you in one of my other videos how you can take it from exam view and convert it into Moodle. So those are the steps. Um, just to remind you, make sure you get rid of the, the heading. You keep it really simple, just the test name, then what type of question that you're using. 
Um, then make sure you put in the answers, make sure the format is all nice, everything's in the same font, nothing's bold and nothing's underlined. Save as a rich text file and then you are good to go.